recommend it. So I'm at Scarborough Beach collecting seaweed, um, and I've realised that there's lots of different types of seaweed. And uh, the seaweeds are a lot bigger than the four, so I've got this piece here that's like uh, got massive leaves in this big room. But then there's also these little ones here, like little tiny leaves and stuff. Um, so I think the next pod, the next stage for me is to kind of go home and start looking at different types of seaweed and trying to differentiate the different types that I've got here. So I went home and I researched seaweed and I found out quite a lot of useful information on it. In the previous video you can see that I'm holding a long piece of seaweed and that seaweed's called oarweed. And then the seaweed in the small pink box is called serrated rack. These are the two most common types of seaweed found on Scarborough Beach. I also found that Scarborough is home to the UK's only sustainable seaweed farm called Seagrown. So I got in touch with them and I'm going to go visit them in the new year to find out more about who they are and what they do. In these videos you can see that I'm starting to experiment with seaweed as a building material and I started to use it as a replacement for hay in cob and I found out so far that it's been quite successful. I'm currently on my seventh version of the block and I feel like I'm pretty close to cracking the cord of making it as successful as a standard brick. The good thing about seaweed is that it's rock resistant, waterproof and in abundance on the coast and it's also a good way to stop coastal erosion. I then started to look at the Mr Marvel's site. Um, the site was originally called P-Zone Fort um, until in 1931 it became Northstead Manor Gardens. In 1981 it opened up as Mr Marvel's amusement park until it was closed in 2002. The site now just sits there abandoned and I feel like it has the potential to be a truly remarkable site.